two-pointer of the Korean. But now up against Ayata Suzuki. And Suzuki was an Asian Games silver medalist last year. And he's rather charmed the crowd today. En route here, he's beaten Iman Mohammadi in the semi-finals, the uh, Iranian champion from last year to do here. So he's got a lot of the neutrals on side, and that's behind him. Although, and there's a Kazakh wrestler on the map. That's uh, that also gets well supported here in this game. Just pay attention to his score range being productive because he did roll Mohammadi with it a few times. That was his position that he's been seen on. He could be careful not to give the exposure away. Just as you say, it has become a little bit of a fun favourite for Zuzuki here today in the arena. Really getting the crowd fired up to, after his semi final win. Competing at 60 kilos, but in recent times he's been competing at 60. Now for 63. That's where he. The phase and game silver. He's in the finals with John and Shash and Beckoff. Kurdistan, of course. I want to show sometimes going off the way isn't a bad idea. Beautiful shoulder for a tank throw. Shash is passing good. Read it closer to me to set on the top. Good play from Suzuki. Great reversal, but not really sure why I wasn't awarded two points for that. The lead with Jarno Kastin now. Yeah, what a four point four that was. So this is the defender fashion. Jarno Kastin. Jarno Kastin. Great match for far between these two. Jala Kassin just taking a big deep breath though, just before that we met again. Hands on the knees, big deep breath. Put a lot of effort into that four point four, so. Big down for two for Jala Kassin just before the first round closes under review. And now we'll get a chance to view it. Yeah, it looked to me as if he did use his legs in that position. It looked like he tripped him a little, so they are going to review it. It's forbidden in Greco Roman wrestling to grasp the opponent below the waist and to entangle the legs as well with your own legs. Yeah, he so steps on his foot with his left leg. Yeah. See that here, yeah, there we go. He did step on his foot with that left leg, so. Mark B. Opposite foul. Blue. Step left. No point. Challenge one. The six four. Simple say, Jarrell Kassin ahead by two in the gold medal encounter at 63 kilograms. When you're reviewing your own performance uh, George. Moments like that I imagine don't don't make much uh, enjoyable viewing for, for the person who's being thrown like that. No, it, it is hard to watch, but you know, 
in part the uh, development of an athlete. Uh, you know, you, you can't win them all, and so he needs to learn, use that, and learn from your mistakes for exactly what happened, why it happened, and how do I work on that to make sure it doesn't happen the next time. Luffy won it to start doing it. Prize possession on film for all time. <laughs> Job only half done, that's the both of two. Nice two points for Suzuki there, realizing the opponent was going in for that heavy wizard and just limps arm out there where you make the arm loose. So his left arm rolls forward, knocking the opponent on his stomach for two points. Suzuki sticks the piece, ties it up, but the criteria in favor of. No raise a point from the referee for this. Well, there was a little bit of a slip throw in this position, so. Jarl Kassim losing control before he's grounded Suzuki. Jarl Kassim with a, quite a nasty put to his forehead after that exchange. Collided head and he fell on top and just in the middle of his forehead just got a gap. He's going to need some heavy tape to try and stop the bleeding because the forehead is a place that, if it does get cut, bleeds an awful lot, so the doctor going to have to do a very good job in this position to stop it. It has to be a good job. It has to be a, a relatively quick job as well with the blood time. Just four minutes allowed to pack up. Plenty of time if uh, things are straightforward. Suzuki also, in that position, didn't really need to risk anything in that with that throw. It was, yeah, it's six six, but he's still got one minute fifty two on the clock. His opponent's tired, you can see it. He needs to start working forward, trying to drive him off the mark, get into a good position. There was a possible chance that his opponent was going to get done for passivity again, so he's not worth the risk going belly to belly like that. So with so much time on the clock because on the other hand, his opponent could have had a little bit more control and would have pinned him in that situation so Jarrah Kassis has been running the tires, but ready to go again. Locking those hands in that position there. Uh, really need something substantial if he's gonna. On two occasions, I have to Suzuki has been a medalist at the Asian Championships. But never a gold medal. And he needs to flip 14 grand if that's the change. He's still behind. Zolo Kastic on criteria. And the Kazakh loses his patchwork forehead. Required again. So it's been left to Suzuki semi final, George. He had a couple of issues that needed patching up, and then towards the end of it, it came very good. But it was uh, an interrupted match as well. What would you do if you 
when you were in these situations without the need to be packed up yourself? You've just got time on the mat. You just need to think about it. Look at the clock. You've got 47 seconds left. What do I need to do in this 47 seconds to, to win this match? So he really needs to start pushing his opponent towards the zone. Staying in the middle of the match is not going to do him anything. He needs to get his opponent towards the edge. Getting panicking, maybe making the force a mistake for the two, or go for yourself for the four. So even the push out right now can win in the match. So he needs to start going on those forward gears, start working forward. And Tracy back off. Now all Captain engages again with Suzuki. He's unbelievable level of fitness. He will be negated by the amount of weight he has. Here comes Suzuki. He's counted. without control. Last 20 seconds remaining of the gold medal contest of 63 kilos. This is exactly what he needs to do. He needs to work into those legs. Try and drive him out the map. Still lots of good from Jack and Captain. And Suzuki delivered his final point. It's all over. And it's all over in favour of Jurgen Darrell Cassis. Kazakhstan colours waving in Bishkek for Darrell Cassis. Your winner, gold medalist, the Lakers, and the Lakers.